Hey guys, this is Holy Grail 903 here with um a my one of my first video game reviews. Today I've got the Nintendo DS Lego Battles. Here's the box. It shows multiple different themes and things about for the box. Now on to the actual game. This is the home menu. Uh, sorry if it's hard to see. I'm not really sure how to do this. Um, and there's many different parts. You've got multiplayer where you can play up to three people. Uh, you can either host or play a different game. Um, there's conquests where you can do different challenges throughout the story mode and free play. Um, there's also the Lego store where throughout the game you can collect um, studs and unlock unlock people throughout different story modes. You can unlock like the king, dwarves, dwarf gliders, different imaginary things. You can like in the um, pirates, you can unlock islanders. In the imperials, you can unlock the ninja and the ninja master and a flying machine. Um, on the earth, you can unlock the space police. Um, you can unlock the space criminals, and there's also another place where if you get all 15 of the mini kits in each level. You unlock different special heroes, and with the blue stars you collect throughout the game, you can buy these things. You can also buy like concept art. Some of them are cool. Like this is one of my personal favorites. If you walk in a minecart, but it's like 3D. It's really cool. There's also one with like Braveheart. You never really play with him in the um, story, but you see him in uh, movies. Um, then on to single player, you've got free play where you can customize your own match, play it however you want, um, on different maps, um, you can pick your own team, you create your own team and everything. And in the story mode, you've got the Kings, um, story mode where you play through as the Knights, you play through as the Skeletons in the Wizard campaign, you play through as Pirates in Brickbeard's campaign. You can also play as the Imperial Soldiers in Governor Broadside's campaign. You play as um, Mars Mission People in the Earth campaign. And you play as Aliens in the Alien campaign. And each campaign, there's 15 mini kits and 3 red bricks. The red bricks are like in game cheat codes that if you start a level, you can um, uh, just use them. Um, like you'll start out, and you can come in here, I'll read you all the cheats, um, you can unlock fast mining, fast harvesting, full unit cap, long range magic, super magic, double lego bricks, fast magic, show enemies, regenerating health, show lego studs, show red bricks, show mini kits, fast building, one kill, hit kill heroes, Invincible Hero, Reveal the Map, Upgraded Towers, and Super Explosions. And when you check those off, it then gives you cheats in every story mode. And right here, you've got like three units. You drag your pen across to click on them all. You move them around. It's a um, strategy game, so you move them uh, in strategic ways. You can build towers. You have to build farms to increase your men. Um, product ability, you um, can create barracks where you um, make more people, you create farms and things, and you can also create special factories that allow you to build such things as dragons, catapults, ballistas, siege towers, all different kinds of things, and then you play throughout the story mode. Um, I'll show you the free play, how that goes, but the story mode is very fun. There's lots of different levels and spans and stuff. It's very interesting. Uh, on the free play, you can pick your map. There's, I think, about 12 or 16 different maps. Um, and when you go on here, you can play as Defeat the Hero, collect 10,000 Lego bricks, and or you can defeat all the enemy units. You can turn on pre-built base, random um, starting positions, and how much, uh, how many bricks you start out with. The well, maximum is 2,500. Um, and then in here, you can pick your different heroes that you unlock. But you have, once you unlock them, you have to buy them with your um, blue studs. So, I'll be King Kamuka.
and you can build different builders and each builder builds their own type so if you have the night builder but no other knights you build night buildings and so on so and you can build like your weak trooper there's like ormen, troll, skeletons, wolves, drones um, you can pick your cavern man or your morph, and you can build, pick like archers, islanders, and things. Um, you can pick like catapults, with you've got like troll blimps, or catapults, ninja flying ships, dwarf glider, things like that. Tiki golems. And then down here you can get a dragon or different flight ships, and you can get a transport ship in this. Um, and in the game you fight whoever you want. Um, and their army, and then come out, and you begin to build things. Like, see, there's a bed, and you can build mines to produce yourself more money. Um, okay, you can do wide ranges of things, attack trees, harvest trees, all kinds of different things. It's a really fun game. I recommend it. Um, there's, it's really intricate, um, and with the free play, it allows you to keep on playing even after you've unlocked everything. And when you play single player free play, you can also use the red bricks. So, you can, if you beat the story mode and you want to find, use your new bricks, you can go to free play and use them. Um, they make it fun and easy. So, you can, um, test them out and then play it where you unlock some and things, so. It's a very fun, and then see, they can build up troops and things, and they build men, and it's a wide range strategy game. It's very fun. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much all you do. Uh, there's lots of, it's really, it's got 90 levels in story mode, 15 per campaign, um, and there's multiple different characters you can buy and concept art and all sorts of things um, so if you're looking for a fun game that will last you a while uh, Lego Battles is a great one um, it's the only DS game I have right now um, I, if I get any more I'll probably do some reviews on those if this one goes over well and the double screen up there it shows like the map your objectives how much money you have how many troops you have how many catapults and there's a few bad things like there are unit caps, like you can only have 20 men and 4 catapults, those are your maxes. Um, you can max out on towers, you can only build 7. Those are some really annoying things about the game, but other than that it's pretty good. But those are, those are real, real bugging. The, the, those are the only real problems I have with it, is that you have a cap on troops and things, and you cannot br um, bring your entire army. The most you can select at one time is nine to bring out an attack. So, um, yeah, but those are pretty much the, um, all abouts about the game. It's, uh, real fun. Um, and another good thing that I just found out that there's a new Lego store going into my mall. So, uh, that'll be helpful because then I can just go and get the dwarf battle packs there. It's not open yet, but it should be opening soon. So, um, I may also save up some money and go there on a big trip and have lots of stuff to review. Um, so yeah, um, I may also, I did a little stop motion project that I might try to show you guys if it works with my camera. Um, just to show you how some stuff might go, just to show you a little sneak. But stop motions aren't here, but I've just been practicing a little bit for when they are here, so. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and have a nice day. Bye, guys.